Welcome back to the channel guys, tool reviews of tools I use. So I'm going to take you through my Allen keys uh, that I keep across a range of toolboxes of mine. And you'll see them in various videos, I've got my toolbox tools. I keep the folding style predominantly along with the style that comes in these little organising racks, whatever you want to call them. I find that this is the most effective way of having it. A lot of other options that you'll get, you'll get, if you have a look at the Craftsman ones, they come rattling around in these bags. That's a really inefficient way of carrying Allen keys. If you lose one, you might not even know you've lost one until you come to need it again and then you find it's missing. Whereas you've got real accountability with the, with the racks that you see down there. So just the fact that you, on a job site, if you've got to pour these out on the floor to get to the one that you want as well, it's just, it's, it's obvious that it, it's really a bad way of carrying them. You've also got these little cheap boxes and things that they might come in. Sometimes they come in opening cases, but they're, they're often subpar the way that they do it. I find these to be a really strong, efficient way of carrying them. These folding ones by Bondus, uh, American company, really really good i like supporting american companies i like supporting british companies there uh, you can see the configurations they come in so you've got a mix of uh, metric and imperial with this one and i chose this one specifically for my decorating toolbox because i find, find myself constantly uh, taking down curtain poles and things like that so it, it was it was just a common job that i kept coming across and so to, just to have an efficient means of carrying allen keys without ever losing them and uh, and being able just to deploy them nice and quickly, put them away, forget about them. I found this a really good setup. And on a similar note, I have these in my main toolbox, my sort of big renovation building toolbox, because I like the fact that I had a good set of Allen keys of metric, but for the odd time that I'll come across uh, Imperial, with, 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 I think I believe you from the US will call them standard but if I ever came up across those standard keys then I know that I've got a little set that will hopefully get me through that as well for the most common sizes so I found this to be a really nice combination now where these folding ones lack is is accessibility and that's where these keys come in I would rather just have a nice easy setup like that all the time but it doesn't often work if you've if you're getting trying to get that let's say behind a, a tap or a faucet and you've got the and it's only got about that much space between the tap and the wall and you're trying to put that in there it's just not going to work so that's where these allen keys come in here so we've got you take it out you've got that nice angle if you want more leverage you can use that and if you want nice easy access a lot of the time you can use the the long portion or if, or if it's not leverage you're after and it's access you've got, you can use that little inch bit sticking out of there. So you've just got a lot more options with this, which means you've got a lot more chance of getting the job done without having to go to external tools. So there was one time, and it's only one time this has ever happened to me, and if you have a look at this set here, I was working on a car, and this Allen screw that I needed to get out it was blocked by something. And the only way I could do it, I, I, I either took apart probably half the car to get to it, or I modify uh, an Allen key. So I ended up just taking my angle grinder to it and just cutting a piece off and making a short Allen key. You can see the difference, how much I took off. It was just about a centimeter or maybe half an inch or something like that. And, and it got me to exactly where I needed to go. And I know you can actually buy sets that are like this so you can get these short little allen key sets that are designed i think they're called stubby allen keys that are designed to do that exact job but do i need to buy a whole set of those it's literally the only time that's ever happened uh no i don't need to do that but what i can do is buy a nice cheap set like this which i already had and just modify it and if it ever comes up again in any of the other sizes i'll do it all over again it's great to have in the toolbox but uh, but for most cases that is that's not going to happen. Most cases I've found that this can cover it. So between the Bondus and the Tecton, how do they compare? We well, can see straight away that the Tecton's got a lot more keys. There's a lot less jumps in sizes, 
and in particular with the small sizes you get you get a really nice range of keys so you're not going to be left out in the cold if you've got anything in between there like you have with the bonders so it's definitely got a, an advantage for that i'm undecided about the flip portion of it but it does work really nicely it seems strong it hasn't broken yet it's been rattling around in my toolboxes for a, for a long time now it's never broken off good thick plastic on it so it's yeah it's, it seems to last well i like the fact that it closes with a click so it's not flopping around all the time and you see if i hang it upside down it's not flopping but the bondus one's got nice tight fit for the most part you have to twist them just give them a tiny little twist to make them stay in and give them a tiny twist the other way to make them slide out nice and easy. For the keys themselves, let me take let me take a couple out so just so that we can show them. I like the Bondus, the fact that it's got the branding on them. Made in the USA and I do like supporting that US industry. And there you go and you've got the measurement sizes on both of them. Uh, you'll notice that the finish is a lot more reflective on the Tectons. That can be good or bad depending on what you want it for. Personally I find the finish on the Bondus a lot nicer to work with. It's going to scratch up more but it does feel nice in the hand when you're using it. This has a kind of smooth, almost greasy component to it. It's not, it's not got a load of grease on it but it does feel just a lot more slick in the hand. It's only a minor thing, really. They're just Allen keys. They're, they're not. It's not a complicated thing. But what you have got another feature that makes the bonders quite nice is this ball end. Sometimes, if you can't got, quite get a straight onto a uh, an Allen fitting, and you can come in from a little bit of an angle, and you can just get the turn on it that you want. That's a nice little feature of these. Um, yeah, not to be overlooked because that can help you out a lot, especially when you get to these big sizes. It's it's a nice option to have. But you're not going to be putting a whole lot of torque on something like this, but it's just enough to get it tight. All in all, very good brands. I've been really happy with these over the years. I don't think you'll go far wrong by buying these. Whichever, like with all these tools, it's you've got to find out what works for you. Case. Case in point with, with the, the Gorilla Grip handles, and I was saying for my little decorating box, this is perfect. But if I put this in my building box, it would be absolutely useless. The sizes are just too small. So you really got to find what works for you. And uh, yeah, if you've got any questions, any feedback, please drop it in the comments below, and I'll see you next time.